If you couldn't already tell what the craft is that I'm doing tonight, it is finally going to be these little top hats that I've been wearing sporadically throughout all of the shows across the internet. And I'm finally now going to demo them. <laughs> Which is, and they're so easy to do. The cool thing is that I actually created a template for them. You can find those via the blog post that I just put on the page and are on my blog there. And it, you don't have to follow the template. The template's just really, you know, my way of making things easier for me. And then you can just go crazy. Uh, you can do bigger, smaller, whatever you want to do. All right, so let's rock on over to. Cliff, come on. <laughs> I can't do it until they say craft camp. Oh, okay, he's, he's driven by all of you guys. Okay, you ready? So this is what the template looks like here. It's two pieces. Uh, template's pretty straightforward. Once you cut it out, don't get confused. This piece right here, this little circle, is actually supposed to be attached to this, this big piece right here. So don't um, cut that apart. And then this circle here is its own separate piece as well. That's my advice for that. Once you are done cutting out your little template, then you can put it onto a thicker material of your choosing. I have made about three of these hats and um, tonight I'm going to be doing it on some fun foam, sparkle fun foam. And boy oh boy do I love sparkle fun foam. So I'm going to be doing it on that but I have done it on some some stiffened felt. I've done it on some cardboard. Even cardstock would probably work. So just have fun. Go crazy with it. I did, uh, I did already cut out the kind of larger pieces, which is what, this is what it looks like. This is just kind of the, the column and then the top that's attached to it there. This project is so easy. I just love it. And I love that I can go through my craft room and find all of the thick pieces of uh, materials and sort of make top hats out of them. All right, so I'm just cutting out the base piece here. Sorry, I just hit the microphone. My bad. And maybe you can get a closer look of it of the whole project. I have a picture maybe Tiffany will show a little bit later once I'm done with it. But you'll see the white one a little bit closer. All right, ooh, I love this sparkle. So this is perfect for obviously New Year's, but I've been seeing a lot of these in like bachelorette parties, uh, even bridal parties, that sort of thing. So I decided to kind of come up with my own little template to make it easier for people to use. Okay. So now that I've cut out my two pieces, it's very easy to do. Uh, another recommendation here is in my template, you'll see that there's these gray marks on the ends and that's just your glue areas. So you're just gonna make sure that you have left that, about that much room on either side to account for that glue area. I'm just gonna give myself some warm glue from my hot glue gun and then wrap it around and meet where the other gray area was marked. I like a so. Okay, and if Miss Hazel was here, she would, uh, she would definitely love the dramatic sparkles here. And you can see this just kind of folds right over like that. See how easy this is? And I just fold this little tab in and it's gonna get a little dollop of glue. And before I put that down, I'm just going to give this, the sides just a little bit each, and it might overflow a little bit, but that's okay. And then I'm going to put tuck that right in. Voila! Look, we have our top. Don't you love this color blue? This is going to be great not only for New Year's, but also for Fourth of July. Thank you very much. And now there's two things that you can do. You can see here on my template that I have these little stripes. And the reason why I have the stripes is because you can uh, do the base of this two different ways depending on how you like it. The one that I'm wearing right now, which I'll take off of my head, I actually cut the stripes in my material, folded them in, and then I folded them up into the base here, or sorry, into the column here so that they just kind of hung on there. But if you if you don't really care about that, you know, security and having it really, really solid, you can just give the bottom part a little bit of uh, warm glue. And don't worry about going over the edges because you're more than likely gonna put a ribbon around the base here. So don't worry about it like really overflowing. Just give it a lot of glue and then plop it right on to that. There we 
there you go. So just like Sue, you have yourself a really cute little New Year's hat. But, I mean, it can stand alone if you really want it to stand alone. But who wants that? I sure don't want that. I need embellishments in the form of <laughs> some crazy pink lacy ribbon here, which I'm going to just kind of wrap right around. I like to make sure that my ribbon sort of meets in a spot where I'm going to put my embellishments so that my embellishments end up covering up where my ribbon's meeting. And I'm not just going to, I'm not going to put glue all the way around. I'm just going to put it where my ribbon meet. My ribbon ends meet. All right. And then embellishment time. I have these cute little stars that I want to use. And I'm just going to put those on there. I do recommend finding as many embellishments as you possibly can find for this whole project because, well, really, it's a sparkly New Year's festive hat. You can't have a festive hat without embellishments. So I'm just going to continue to kind of put some up the side and maybe a little bit right here. And feathers are always a, a good addition. I'm not going to put any feathers on this one because I don't happen to have any really nice white feathers, which is probably what I'd put on here or maybe some yellow feathers. But this one got a heart and it got a rhinestone, a couple sequins, and of course these really fun purpley feathers with the, uh, the black around the base there. The difference here is that I actually opened this up and then pressed it on the inside of the column and then I ran some ribbon across the bottom to create an X so that I can actually fit a headband through it like that. Does that make sense? Or you can put some clips through. I always prefer, as you know, I'm like the headpiece person. I always prefer to wear headbands because things tend to get heavy uh, <laughs> in my projects, but this is not a heavy project. And for this, I'm just, I'm feeling like I want it permanently on a headband and I have this really cool blue headband. Um, and I'm just gonna put it kind of off to the side so that it sort of looks kind of fun and funky, funky monkey off to the side. Just make sure that your embellishments aren't gonna go totally nuts. And just like that, you can put a little bit of fabric underneath to make sure that you don't get any seepage through. And then it's pretty much wearable. Do you dare me to wear it right after I put hot glue on? <laughs> Cliff is daring me. Cliff do is daring it. me. All do right, it. Do, it. do it, do it, do it. All right, I'm feeling for the hot glue and it is now cooler. Okay, I'm gonna put it on my head. Ready, we're going back to head cam. We'll Here see we how go. it looks. Oh, it looks pretty cute. So, <laughs> so right off the side, if I had like bigger hair over here, I think this would look really cool. Like if I just went curly nuts. Uh, so it's, it's, um, it's, it turned out, I think, pretty cute. Maybe I would put it up just a tiny bit higher and, uh, and then I would just curl my hair and just like tease it up and just have like crazy wild New Year's hair. Yeah, I know, you could probably not imagine me looking like that. <laughs> I definitely need bigger hair. All right, so that is that. Now let me